Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> consider kind of an extended member of my family you can always count on your family and that's one thing that, that I found here on Eastside Graveyards is I can always count on the people that I work with to be there when we need them to be there and that's that's one great thing about working graveyards is the uh, the amount of a family atmosphere that we have with each other and, and good camaraderie on the job Hi, and it's good for 148 North St. Well, there's a unit that's in pursuit of a vehicle that was driving recklessly. They've been chasing them for approximately three to four minutes now. Speeds are varying from uh, anywhere from 25 miles an hour up to 80 miles an hour. No, oh, they're going to pit him. Sounds like they're uh, going to try and do a pit on the vehicle to uh, which will stop it. It's called a it's a pit. What you do is you have a car will come up and you just tap the back end of the car. A lot less damage than ramming a car, but uh, it causes them to lose control of their car and uh, usually it'll kill the engine. It's a real safe way to get. He just rammed one of our patrol cars, and he spun around and rammed him. So that kind of ups the ante a little bit. So one thing about 30 uh, with the Mustang here. Looks like they got him stopped up here. If I get pulled over, I'm going to leave my truck, and I got my trailer, I just move up the in bill. I got my trailer up there. If I got pulled over, I don't want to go to jail. I, I went to um, um, school. I was, going, I, was going, I was going to turn my car over, and I could tip it. I, was going to, I, I didn't want to hurt nobody. I was trying to hurt myself. I was trying to hey, kill man, myself. All you had to do was pull over and take the ticket. I know, I know. You Instead know, of driving like that. I know, I know. Now look at your car, and you rammed one of my I know, control cars. I know. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You didn't apologize. Yeah. You apologize. Why didn't I hit one? Yeah, you hit one of my cars. That's no good. All right? You know you're going to jail tonight mm -hmm. for eluding. You suspended probably your license. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't get back in August. I and you got cooking. four or five warrants for your arrest? No, three. While we were en route, they ran the driver. Supposedly had some warrants, but we have to verify who we have with his driver's license. And then we'll run. Well, he's running them on records right now, and that'll show if the warrants are, are in the system, and they'll... They'll meet him down at the jail with the rest of the charges for the chase. Like we were saying while we were en route there, he rammed one of our patrol cars, and uh, that's that's the damage you did. Nothing too serious, but uh, it's enough to heighten heighten everyone's awareness and make us think about you know rethink what we're doing. But that'll probably be another assault charge on his part. So fortunately, not too too much damage to the car or any of our personnel. I'm a friend. 
And um, I'll tell you that right now. I, 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 I hate myself. I hate my life. And um, I don't do a lot, but I came back up, up in Oregon. You know, I got the car, me nice car. And um, and I, I was trying to. When, when I see the cops chase me, I thought, well, I had to get somewhere with no people around. I could turn my car over and try to break my neck. That's what I'm gonna do. But then I, I was trying to get a place with no people. I don't want to hurt nobody else but myself. You know. Well, you could have killed a lot of people tonight. Us, you, lots of innocent people. You were all over the place. Not a very well thought out plan. What were you reaching for in the car? My tapes, Phil, all my tapes. All my, all my, all so the... in the middle of running from the police and trying to kill yourself, you're trying to pick up all your tapes? No, my tape got my way my, 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 my gas pill. I can't put, put on the gas. OK, what about the knife between the seats? You weren't going for that? No, I don't no? Know, I know, I know I wasn't going for no knife. That's not your knife? Yeah, that's my knife. I wanted to go for it. You weren't reaching for that? No, that was, that was my thing. No, I reached for my tape. No, I reached for no weapon. What we have here in the tire, those are the sticks from, our, from when we threw out what they call our stop sticks. That's the, the hollowed out stick. And we have about three three sections of those that we can throw out in the roadway. And uh, those go in the tire and slowly release the air out of the tire so it's not a blowout. And uh, the actual driver is able to maintain more control with these, but his tires are still going flat. He kept reaching down during the pursuit. We thought we didn't know what he was reaching for. Uh -huh. We thought maybe he had some drugs or something. Oh, so you saw him through the, the window? We could see him yeah, that he would, reaching down in there. He was reaching down. He says he was reaching for his tapes, but yeah. this was down I between there. For my knife. That doesn't look like a tape. No. It no, could be, it could be telling you, know, you never know, okay. but this was sitting right there. Yeah. It's too nervous. Yeah, I would be pulling a knife, so you can't put it in my mouth. Okay. Okay. I don't pull knives out. Okay. What am I going to do? Stab myself with it? You think that he would learn spinning around in the same dead end, and uh, anyway, lost? completely off the road. Going? He was going along the woods right there. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if anyone was walking the dogs or anything else, he would take everybody out. Yeah. He was everywhere. Now we tried to call back because there was still a problem, but we got the answer machine. So now we get the medics there out, and they'll they'll take a look at him, make sure he's okay, and then they'll run him up to the hospital. Any drugs or anything in the car? Nothing. I don't do drugs. I thought you said you were in Oh, uh, what? I don't. I don't. I. I, I thought my friend. You get a couple yeah. wines. When's I don't. I don't buy. When's the last time you used? When's the last time you used? I've been. I've been up for four days. You've been up for four days yeah. now. Yeah. I'll do a lot. It's a good example of how these sticks can come in handy. You get the sticks out, take the air out of his tires, and he can't drive anymore. And that's the best way to come to end these things without someone getting hurt. One deputy out here tonight that was able to outguess him, and that's part of the reason why we won this one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and you usually have a pretty good mess to clean up. Lucky he didn't get anybody hurt. He goes to jail, and good guys win another one. I think one of the hardest things about being a police officer on a day-to-day -day basis is you deal with the negative aspect of people. People are calling you for help. The people you deal with don't want to see you. They want to run from you. Or a majority of them, unfortunately, you're, you're arresting or taking to jail. So you don't get to deal with people who want to see you and want to deal with you. They have to. We're en route to a strong-armed robbery that supposedly occurred from one motel to another just across the street. And the suspects are still supposed to be located at the uh, motel that's across from where we're going right now. I'm going to pull in and see if we can get a few of the details as to what's going on. 384 County, last call. <clears throat> He's not really telling us what's going on yet. Hi. Hey. I'm not the bad guy. Well, you got to tell us what's going on. We don't have a clue what's going on. We're over there in room four across the street. Mm-hmm. Room four across the street. Okay. I'm I'm new to this situation, so I need you to fill me in as to what's going on. Three forty records. Okay. Um, I'll let you know your ass is gonna hit the floor in just a second. It's about an inch and a half long. Warrants only in white. Okay. Middle, your cigarette ash. It's about an inch and a half long. It's gonna fall on the floor in a second. So what's going on? I need you to kind of tell me and fill me in since I'm new to this little game. Seventeen fifty. How'd she rip you off? As far as what? What was going on at that time? I pulled out twenty-five dollars. For, for what? Groceries. For groceries. And she took the whole thing and said goodbye. Why would you pay somebody to buy your groceries? Why? Do, why can't you walk over? The grocery store. Where? How do you know her? You never met her before. 
No. So you're asking somebody that you've never met before to go over and buy your groceries. Where'd you get 1750 bucks at? That's not your concern. Yes, it is. I earned it. Okay, where do you work? You check the bathroom and all that. It's not the point. See, it is the point. Why is the point? Because that's my job to figure out what we're dealing with here. I have cash <clears throat> on me because they pay me cash. So you're saying that the lady stole $1,750 from you. Okay. And you pulled out that much money in front of somebody you've never met before to go to the store for you to buy groceries. Do you see where I'm coming from, though? Yeah, stupid thing. Okay. You've never met her before. Okay, let me ask you this, just point blank, okay? I've never met you before or anything. Honestly, okay? Be very truthful to me. I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to anything. I'm just curious. Why did you? Why were you offering her the money? Okay, I, I don't quite buy that you were having her go to the store for you. Okay, honestly. All I'm asking you is to be honest with me and being honest with you. She's going to the store, and I happen to have always keep my, all my stash in my one pocket. And when I pull it out, I whipped out 20 and a 5, and she took, she said, I'll take the rest. What was, she, what was she doing in your room in the first place? She's going to the store. No, what was she doing in your room in the first place? She's going to the store. She can make a grocery run. Okay. No, why was she in your room to begin with? You told me why she, you gave her the money, but I want to know why she was here in the first place. There's a bit of the story you're not telling me, is what I'm trying to get at. The girl came around and said, I'm going to the grocery store. Cool. Let's get some groceries. Where do you know her from? I didn't really. You never met her before. She knocked on your door and said she's going shopping and you gave her money. No, she's walking by. It was a sunny day. I have a hard time believing that some lady walked by and goes, hey, I'm going to the store. And you just willy-nilly going, hey, here's 25 bucks. Oh, by the way, I have $1,700 here. And she grabs it and takes off. And then you take 13 hours to call us. Do you see where I'm coming from with that? Big problem. Okay, somebody stole that much money from me. I think it'd take about 30 seconds for me to call the police, not 13 hours. Okay, and I don't believe that anybody would just come by and ask. You know, hey, I'm going to the store. You've never met him before. Here's some money. Go for me. The store's right across the street. You can walk yourself over there. Ain't no store around here. Yeah, there is. No, there ain't. Oh, I'm sorry. I've worked here for a few years, and yeah, there is. All within about five minutes of walking from here. What are you looking for? Ashtray. Perfect ashtray. Sure. Why don't we go over and see if we can locate these people that you were telling us about? Okay, but like I said, there's not a whole lot that I can do. Okay, 13 hours, and just your story doesn't make sense. Honestly. You want to all walk over there together? You want to go over and point him out to us? And do you think they're going to have that $1,700 in their possession still? Can I ask you a question point blank? Were you trying to buy drugs? Honestly. Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Meth or heroin? Neither one. We need to know so we can help you uh, out there, boss. Well, I need to know what they're dealing. Well, okay. The people I, over there are crack dealers. Yeah, so you're trying to get a hold of some crack? Right? Yes. Okay. How much crack were you trying to buy? Just $25 worth? $25. Now, because you got ripped off because of a drug deal gone bad, you know, now you want us to go do something for you. Okay, when you're actually creating part of the problem for us still. All I want is my $1,700 back. But because of the transaction that was taking place for you getting it, I'm not going to go take part in trying to get your money back because your drug deal got screwed up. So you're not going to go over there? No. 8th Avenue West. Okay. Is there anything else we can do for you tonight? Yeah, give me a chance. We'll go look to see if it's in the parking lot for you. See you later, mister. You know, what can I do? I can't go arrest somebody for taking his money when he wanted to buy drugs in the first place. So he's buying $1,700 worth. Takes all kinds.
I was born in Oklahoma. Uh, my father was career military, so we moved around quite often. Uh, we finally settled down here in Washington State. Got my degree in aviation. I had a couple friends that were police officers, and I went on a few ride-alongs with them. And at some point, I realized just how much fun they were having, uh, that I'd much rather spend my time out here dealing with people than, uh, than stuck in a cockpit pushing buttons all day. I have no idea what their vehicles look like. And this Lincoln should be black in color. Neighbor is supposed to be chasing some guy in a Lincoln Continental driving around, crashing into cars. We'll go down here and see what we got. Oh my God. Right down here. Three seven two is with him. Seven two zero fifty four. Yeah, right over here. Just the driver right there? The driver's right here. Okay. These guys stopped him. We okay. stopped him. He, no. hit, he hit our vehicles back here. Did he? He came back down He the got the whole neighborhood up. We stopped him. Jeez, what's going on? Well, I obviously don't know what I'm doing, so that's... Obviously a little intoxicated there. That's you got any, You got any guns on you, weapons? I'm just gonna put your hands on your back for me really quick. Okay? Yeah. All right. Where you live at? Right here. This right here? Yeah. So how much do we have? More than I needed, that's right. And how much is that? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, let's go back over here. Yeah, that might be good. Do you have a cigarette? No, not yet. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Is there a medical aid needed for anyone? Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Won't be doing it again. What's that? Sure. Well, won't be doing it again, that's for sure. No. At least not tonight you won't be doing it. What's your name? Dean. You been arrested before? Uh, it's been a while, but... It's been a while? <laughs> Never been arrested for DUI? License suspended? No. It's not? Licensed, insured. Yeah. No kidding. Got insurance? Good. That's good. Where are you drinking at? Uh, just down the street. Where's that at? The Tippery? No, a friend of mine's house. Oh, a friend of yours' house. And so, what are we thinking? You're just trying to get home to your house? Yeah, for some reason I lost all my marbles. Apparently. You lost you lost all your marbles, huh? Apparently, yeah. Do something that dumb. So what, these guys had to bring their cars over and lock you in because you well, kept on wanting to drive? I stuck, so I wasn't going to go that far, so... I guess it didn't make that much difference. So did he put his car in front of you, then you crashed into him? Uh, possibly. What's that? Possibly I had more than I needed to, so it don't make much difference now. Can I have a cigarette? No. So who's driving the truck? I am. I am. Okay, okay. what I happened? Just, uh, what? Okay, you want to know what happened? Yeah. I'm on the side watching TV and I hear some, someone spinning tires and donuts, so I get up and I look out here. About that time, I see him take off this way and just plow right down. Well, you can see his marks are somewhere okay. right there. Right. Peeled off down here and went flying up through the fence. I think he hit the van. Okay. <clears throat> Stops and he's revving it up, throws it in reverse. See the little white car over here on the on this side? Yeah. Okay. He glances off that, scrapes down the side of it, slams into my pickup parked on the other side of the street. You can see all the debris up there. Yeah, saw that. Okay. Then he glances off over this way, clips his Torino, and hits a buddy of his, his pickup, broadside. So he's hit four cars at that point. Then he goes and he takes off. We're chasing him down the street here, and he goes down this way somewhere. Okay. By that time, he turns around and starts coming back. Yeah, he's turning around and coming back like he was gonna run over. And I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna kill somebody real soon. So I jumped in my truck, and he saw him pull over here, so I nosed up here to him, make sure he wasn't going any further. Uh -huh. His buddy came around the other side and backed up to him so he couldn't get out. And then we waited for you guys. Now, how 
How did he do this? Yeah. He backed right he into backed it. backed right into Full it. Force. He didn't do this here. He did this one when Pickett was parked over there. He just parked there. Okay, so he backed into there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Tremendously with force. It's hard enough to spun it around into the street. It spun it around into my friend's truck and my okay. car. I mean. Yeah. So he kept on going after that point. Oh, yeah. He took yeah. off down that way. Oh, so he, he took out his own fence then. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. Excuse me. He took out about 40 feet of it here. Did he hit anybody else's stuff? Just, just his car is what this guy said. No, he said he hit four, four cars down here. Did he? Yeah. Broke out his own back windshield there. Oh, no. Oh, that was broken? How about in here? Well, First of Daniel Cummins. If you look inside there, there's some, uh, looks like he still had a six pack left. Whatever he was drinking. He got it pretty good there, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Pardon me? He was getting back in the car. But you guys did a good job stopping him. That was these guys. I just brought it up here. Yeah, I got my registration. Officers, you guys have a good night. Yeah, thanks. Glad nobody got hurt. Yeah. Well, he's going to be uh, taken for a breathalyzer test, blowing the tube, find out what his level of intoxication is. Uh, after that, he's going to be booked in the jail for a DUI and uh, several counts of hit and run. And what the good thing here was, this time of night, we didn't have any kids out playing. And we had a citizen that was good enough to jump out and block him in before he could uh, cause any more damage to himself or anyone else. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Okay, 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll send it code 3.